Okay guys, Zebra here, doing the Lumber Mill level on Deniable Ops on Spin Cell Conviction, realistic difficulty. Um, so there's often two guys having a chat just at the beginning here to get their marks and climb up this uh, like this um, log storage bit. Wait for the guys to come around and take him out with a melee kill. I was meant to drop on him but I pressed the wrong button and um, just dropped down to the floor or something, I don't know, it was very sloppy but uh, you know, that's the tactic, that's how you do it. It's just uh, do it a bit more smooth. And this guy, get him out while he's standing in the shadows. Um, he's often standing in the shadows, but sometimes he's standing around here in the light. So just wait for him to move to the shadow and then shoot this light out. Um, this will draw, this draws two people for me now. Sometimes it will draw three, so um, it's no big problem. And the way I take them out is then execute. So, you know, if three people come, it's, it's just a cheeky bonus, to be honest, because you can take three out instead of two. I didn't want to go for melee kills there because these guys are really switched on and one of them would undoubtedly have seen and heard it. So I just took them both out with an execute. I didn't want to shoot because I didn't know if I would be able to react quick enough to get the other guy after I shot the first guy. So this guy's standing here for me in the, nicely in the shadows, nicely out of the way of everyone. So take him out to replenish your mark and execute. And um, put your sonar on and check where other people are. So, and hug this back wall around here staying in the shadows as best you can because these guys you know as i said they're really alert and spot you very quickly if you're in the light so um this guy um i couldn't work out a good way to get to him for the melee kill i didn't want to risk going into the light so i ended up just shooting him he's far away from people and he's in the he's in pitch black so no one sees or hears it so once you shot him then move to his cover Before you move to his cover though, make sure, check your sonar, make sure no one's looking down this uh, way as you step into the light. So, you know, no one's looking, so there we go. Well, these last four guys, they're not too hard. Um, I was hoping to get an execute on these three guys here, but uh, an opportunity opened up for me to take this guy out with a melee kill, so I just took it. Uh, be careful of the sentry gun right there on the left, above the guy furthest away. Um, okay. Yeah, just be just be um, mindful of it. It's really easy to avoid, though. So the last guy for me is walking up that walkway up there. Um, this guy heard me take out the guy just then, but didn't come looking. That's why I sort of backed away. Um, so he's still in the shadow for me to take out nicely. He didn't come chase. He was smart. <laughs> um, so I'm, now I'm looking for a control to turn off the sentry gun. Um, and I figure it might be up these stairs, and then I got the stairs to take the guy out and realised there's only one guy left anyway. So, you know, you don't you don't need to find a sentry gun, a, 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 a control to turn off the sentry gun. Just come up here, take this guy out as he's in the shadows with a melee kill, and then um, go get the last guy with an execute when the sentry gun isn't looking. <laughs> and uh, that's how I do zone one. So um, I'll put a link to Zone 2 in the description and please comment, rate and subscribe, you know, it all really helps. Um, and, you know, I hope you found this useful.